Okay, so I am doing sort of an unboxing video, a review, so to speak, of a chainsaw. The reason that I'm doing it is because the unboxing videos that I've seen wasn't really uh, happy with all the information that they gave about this particular saw. So uh, I thought I'd look into it a little bit more, did a little bit of research, a little bit of digging, and uh, created some things um, to see where it fit for the market that I use a chainsaw for um, and my friends use chainsaws for. Uh, I use chainsaws to chainsaw carve. I don't uh, necessarily cut firewood or uh, go out in the yard and trim trees and all that kind of stuff. Um, so in looking to try and stay warm, I was looking for an electric chainsaw battery operated uh, to keep heat inside the shop. An industrial fan that's behind me blows air out uh, faster than I can heat the shop. So it's nice to be able to stand inside and be warm. In looking into it, uh, the brand that I usually run uh, when it comes to a gas powered saw is Husqvarna. A lot of friends run still. Husqvarna electric chainsaw, you get the chainsaw for $399. Then you have to buy the battery and the charger separate. Still is the same way, uh, only stills is a $339 for the saw and then you have to buy the battery and the charger separate. Now, the batteries are $179, so $180. Doesn't matter which brand, including this brand, uh, the batteries are $180 a piece. The charger for still is, uh, I think, $80, and then the charger for this uh, Cobalt brand is $80. The charger for Husqvarna is, uh, $129, so $130 for the charger. Uh, in looking into it, uh, you could get the still in a quarter pitch. You could get the Husqvarna in a quarter pitch. I believe you can also get them in three-eighths pitch. Um, this particular uh, brand, Cobalt, which is at any Lowe's, uh, comes with 3 8 pitch which is a standard pitch chain for most homeowners. So in looking at this saw the reason that I looked at it was because it comes stock with an 18 inch bar which is something completely different for a battery powered saw. Most of them come with a 14 inch bar. Uh, so what I did is I purchased the saw for $299 at Lowe's and whenever I purchase that saw for $299 plus tax at Lowe's I got a chainsaw with an 18 inch bar and sheath, a battery and a charger. The battery has indicators on the top lets you know how much charge is. If it's got three green lights you are over three quarters of the way full. It takes one half hour to charge. I've found in using it indoors uh, with an, a moderate normal temperature, which I say moderate, I prefer a little chilly, I guess. So 50 degrees is fine for me, um, especially when I'm working and I feel like I'm in an air conditioned building. Uh, so it's kind of nice. So uh, with that, I'm already at $300, I get a saw the battery and the charger which is way less than what you're looking with Husqvarna or still. Uh, the purchase of an extra bar to drop it down to 14 inches and run standard pitch chain you can carve with that. Um, that's not a problem in fact uh, I carved a small bear um, that I should have brought out but I didn't so I'll put pictures in uh, at the end of the video, but I carved a small bear with uh, just 
that 14 inch bar had no problem I was just playing around uh, there's other videos on my uh, Facebook page for the business that uh, show that and I did it I didn't do the carving like you would do a normal carving on purpose I didn't want to just show everybody how to carve a bear I wanted to see how long the battery would last and like I said it lasts roughly a half hour uh, indoors uh, moderate temperature I found that if you go out uh, below freezing uh, it is a battery batteries are affected by the cold uh, it does not last as long whenever you go cutting through wood um, so that was one of the things that I liked I in turn because of being a chainsaw carver uh, pulled their uh, spur gear off and converted this one over to run a rim sprocket uh, so in order to uh, bring it down and run the quarter pitch chain on a dime tip bar and it runs just just fine um, just like any other saw that we're using the first videos if you go to uh, my page you'll see that I, I had the bar uh, the uh, <laughs> the chain break had the chain break on and couldn't figure out because the engine's not running uh, what was wrong why it wouldn't start right away so uh, with the chain break on you get a little sound and that's it uh, and it's probably a spring or something it's so quiet uh, but it won't with the chain break on it's an electronic chain break um, everything mounts up uh, the stock Husqvarna 14 inch bar that comes on my Husqvarna saws has a different mount um, than your standard uh, pull on or how you want to say it pulling uh, and uh, echoes and all those kind of saws in fact uh, the saw the bar I got will fit echo home light Husqvarna Chicago Electric, Sears, Domar, Earthquake, Earthwise, John Deere, Makita, McCulloch, and Pallong. So it's uh, just your standard Oregon bar. Uh, and after talking to uh, Tom Sirianni at TND, uh, the C1 mount, that's what I'm using. Uh, it mounts to my Husqvarna saw on the Canon bar, uh, is what I prefer and uh, it, it runs just fine. The, uh, the information that was missing that I didn't like uh, from the unboxing videos. Uh, Cobalt, Lowe's brand, sounds cheap. You know, like it's not, uh, not your typical chainsaw manufacturer. Uh, so I did a little bit of research. If you look up Greenworks, on the uh, greenworkstools.com you'll find that the only thing difference between uh, the cobalt saw that I noticed which made me do the research uh, was where it's blue and says cobalt and all the blue trigger and all that kind of fun stuff uh, it's green on the greenworks saw both of them are an 80 volt 2 amp hour lithium ion battery the only thing that seems to be different to me when I look at them is the uh, the fact that it's got stickers that say cobalt and has rubber that says cobalt on the face and everything now on the back you've got multiple ports that fit this charger according to Greenworks when you call them uh, the charging ports and where stuff lines up the batteries are not interchangeable uh, due to the way that they do the stuff inside the proprietary. So you can't just uh, buy a Greenworks saw and have a Cobalt saw work. Uh, but it's basically a Chevy, GMC, Ford, Lincoln type thing. You've got Greenworks and they make the Cobalt brand for Lowe's. Now a little bit about Greenworks, why I am uh, enjoying this saw because I, I like it. Um, for the average person trying to stay warm and uh, carve inside their shop that's 
the guy that's just starting and wants to carve, but now it's cold and he's outside. Uh, why I, I would say, you know, this is a great starter saw at least um, is because the, the price point, but because Greenworks has actually been producing equipment since 2005, outdoor electrical equipment for work uh, in the yard, lawn mowers, weed eaters, leaf blowers, uh, snow blowers. So they've, they've got their hands in all kinds of outdoor equipment. They know the electronic side uh, because they've been doing battery powered equipment and plug in powered equipment for a long time. They became their own brand in 2010 and this particular saw, the, their 80 volt line um, for Greenworks was not on the market until 2015. Uh, the, in the fall of 2015 is the information that they would email back to me whenever I uh, had tried to do the research and couldn't find it all online. So uh, when they came back to me with that, I thought, okay, I've been seeing their commercials on TV for a while, and I, I just couldn't remember how long, and their website wouldn't give me the answer. So I did the research, sent them an email, and said, hey, how long you been around? and how long you've been making chainsaws and type, type of thing. This particular saw came on the market the fall of 2015. It's now February 2016. Um, so there's not very many of them out on the market. In fact, mine might be the only one that runs a rim sprocket right now. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I switched it over to run a rim sprocket because then I have the versatility. I can take and pull this rim sprocket, which is 3 8 pitch, and run those two uh, bars, either a 14 inch or an 18 inch bar. I can switch it out for the quarter pitch that's on there right now and run a quarter pitch chain. Right now it's got a 50 gauge chain on there and seems to run just fine, uh, but I plan on switching down uh, to a thinner chain now that there is the uh, 043 uh, chain and bar available from Canon and uh, Tom and Donna up at TND. So, uh, moving less less wood with each scoop but that should hopefully cause the battery to last even longer um, other points that I thought was pretty awesome with the saw with that $299 price tag and uh, getting the saw you got a five-year hassle-free tool guarantee is what they say and then you got three years on the charger itself so uh, I, th that's to me for for the price, you're looking at a great warranty uh, and a saw that works and does what exactly what they say it will do. It runs an 18-inch bar. It's, you can watch the videos from uh, people doing reviews on the Greenworks saw where they're hogging through all kinds of stuff and burying the 18-inch bar all the way into a log. And it, uh, it overheats once in a while uh, when they're hogging through the big stuff. But... By overheats, I mean it stalls just like a gas-powered saw would. They back it up and uh, hit the start button and go. So it uh, it's not going to be like the primary saw to to carve giant pieces. Um, not necessarily. You might want to block it out outside, bring it inside, and then do all your detail work where you're warm. Uh, Balance, it's uh, made to compete with a uh, 40cc gas powered saw. So the balance is uh, that of a 40cc gas powered saw. It weighs as much as a 40cc gas powered saw whenever you have the battery inside it. It uh, has a huge vat when it comes to bar oil. Uh, one of the things I've noticed a lot of people, uh, I used a small cheap uh, electric saw whenever I first started that plugged in, burnt the motor up, uh, destroyed it, had no clue what I was doing. Um, but the oil reservoir, with a plug-in saw, you're constantly going. Uh, that's why I didn't go with a plug-in saw whenever I decided to switch to electric. I figured if the battery lasts like a, ga a tank of gas, uh, then I would Every time I had to put the battery, a new battery in, I would also fill the bar oil. 
the borrow on this, I specifically uh, ran it and watched uh, to see how it would do. And I actually went through two battery lights without refilling that uh, tank and did not run out of bar oil. So that's awesome uh, for those who are a little bit forgetful. But obviously, uh, if you remember to gas your saw and put oil bar oil in it, you'll remember to change the battery and put bar oil in it. Um, so that's my little uh, shtick on this setup and how I feel it works. I uh, think it runs gr pretty good for for what I paid and I'm able to, to carve indoors now. Um, and uh, it, it seems to be seems to be great. I'm gonna manufacture the, uh, the part. I have uh, my uncle's machine shop where we went and made the part to run the rim sprocket. Uh, we're gonna make a couple more and see if people are interested. Um, and you know, like I said, it seems like I got my money's worth and I'm able to use it for what I want to use it for. And if I thought it was garbage, I got a five year hassle free guarantee, it'd go back. So, uh, like I said, I'm happy enough that I'm keeping it.